This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Welcome back guys in fifth episode of this uh, survival horror series. Uh, in today's episode we're gonna be adding uh, Crosshair to help us with our um, basically with our interaction interaction and everything else in the world so we can uh, put it inside the, in the middle and then we have easier time right okay so first thing first uh, if you're not uh, part of my discord server I suggest you to join and uh, when you join uh, just come to survival series assets and here you can get your um, uh, folder that I'm using right now where I'm gonna get my crosshairs and it's going to be updated every time I change something right so you can download it here okay so this is the folder for now that I'm talking about and I have three crosshairs here from the Kenny assets that are completely free to use so I'm gonna create a new folder and call it images And now I'm going to select all those three and just bring it in. This is going to be interact dot interact crosshair interact i. And this can be just crosshair by default. Okay, so you can name it uh, however you want. But uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create um, inside of the master UI. <clears throat> I'm gonna create image. So to create the image, I'm gonna type image here, and I'm gonna get the image. I'm also gonna size it to a content, and I'm gonna anchor it to middle. Position X zero, position Y zero. Size doesn't matter since it's size to content. Align it to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and we got the perfect middle here. But we need a function to change this crosshair dynamically, right? So how can we do that? Well, let's uh, rename this to crosshair and set it to be a variable. Already we got uh, our crosshair image here. We can leave it like that, doesn't matter. Because what we need here is a function that's going to update it. So call it update crosshair. So how do we update crosshair? Just get the crosshair that you just set as a variable here. If you don't see it here, that means you didn't tick uh, this little box. And this is a very modular way of changing your crosshair, right? <coughs> so um, here I'm going to set brush. And this brush is going to be going inside of our update crosshair. And this is going to be cr called crosshair type. So now if we go into the event, I can uh, get update crosshair. And I can connect it with uh, my crosshair types. And I need to create my crosshair types, right? So the first crosshair type that I'm going to connect, we can... Uh, do it from event pre-construct. Pre uh, so I want to pre-construct so I can check it here, uh, how it looks like. So this crosshair type, I'm going to promote a variable and call it interact uh, default crosshair type. And by default, I'm going to have this. So why I'm creating it this way is uh, basically my every crosshair is different size. So it needs to be every size, uh, every image needs to be different size. So this is going to be my crosshair, and 128 x 128, and compile. And as you can see, this is the size of the dot now, and it works. But for the future, I want to create also more crosshair types. So if I copy it, I can promote the variable again, and call this one interact i crosshair type and I can duplicate this one and call it uh, gun crosshair type okay so if I open interact I and I compile I will get default value here so I will get my I and I will set it to be 64 by 64 
And if I get my gun, also default value, I will set it to be interact crosshair. It's not gonna be interact crosshair, I'm gonna need to change the name of image, but 64, 64. And just to test if this works, I'm gonna get a one and two key to show you it works. Update crosshair, update crosshair, here eye, and here gun. Okay, so if I press play now, I have my default that I set in pre-construct. If I press 1, I get my eye. If I press 2, I get my gun. Uh, this gun needs to be a little bit uh, smaller, like 48. Yeah. That's going to be fine for now. And by default it's dots. Okay, so this works. So this is how you would go about it. Okay, so we got this update crosshair uh, working. Let's see if we need to uh, do something else. Um, yeah, that would be it here. We got that. So as you can see now, Next time we want to update uh, to be interactive, we don't have to add it to viewport, remove for parent, we can do everything with one simple function here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.